that happens. Hello, everybody. This is Julie D. Welcome to my Inner Circle Speaker Series. Oh, and today my guest is Mary Jane Brigger. All right. Hi, Hi, I have some questions for you. Yes, Before I get to them, I have one big question. Okay. What is a spirit channeler? Oh, a spirit channeler. Well, a spirit channeler, channeler is when spirit comes, merges with your energy. We call it a blending of spirit. So it's when spirit merges with your, with your energy to bring their message forward through your own voice. So it's like you become them. And very often they, they can come through with different dialects, um, but they wow. usually have messages that a spirit channeler usually brings messages from the higher realms, such as the angels and so forth, the more philosophical, but it's a very different message than like a mediumship message, which is when we are strictly speaking to loved ones and spirits, you know, like family and that. So a channeler is literally channeling the voice of spirit through your own energy through your own body and they use you that energy this, this is not about possession or anything like that it's nothing like that this is an agreement with the spirits of light to bring a message through to people wow that's amazing um i don't know anybody else other than you that can do that there's so, a lot of us, believe it or not. So. Wow. So um, tell me more about how you became a spirit channeler. Actually, um, I had been providing messages as a Reiki practitioner. But when I moved out here to West Salem, Ohio, where I live right now, and I have a little building called the um, Healing Cottage, I was sponsoring a shamanic soul school retreat. And during that retreat, we had what was called an anointing of the sacred feminine, meaning that we were being blessed for our sacred feminine energy qualities. Now, sacred feminine energy is non-gender. So there were both men and women there receiving this gift. But as soon as I, the shaman put his fingers on me to anoint me with oil, I went out like a light and I fell backwards into the, the person behind me. And I was awake, but not awake. And I was sat in a chair there within the healing cottage. And at that moment, I began channeling. Um, first, I experienced all these beautiful women goddesses literally rushing me. They were so beautiful and so loving. And as each one came in, I was like introduced. And then I heard, we are all the great mother. And I actually hadn't really been familiar with that term. I then began channeling the voice of the great mother and I for a good hour. And wow. we had about six or seven people here. And I started telling, giving them messages about things there's no way I could have known about. And I, to be honest with you, wasn't fully aware of it. Um, they had to tell me. I came out of it and I noticed that there was such a clarity around me that I could literally look down <laughs> into the woods because the cottage sits on a ravine that looks in the woods. I could actually see bugs. It was, I mean, I could actually see the little, right. see the little parts of creation out there. And then that night I had a dream where the great mother came to me and said, I'm taking you to show you what you were made of and took me and says, you are stardust. And then the rest of the dream went on to just tell me that this is the work I would be doing, would be to be conveying messages from the great mother, which is all the goddesses in one, meaning it could be Kuan Yin, it could be Isis, it could be Mother Mary. Um, it could be, you know, if you're Catholic or something, the St. Teresa's. Okay. Any of the, the goddesses are higher energies of the sacred feminine. They said we would be, we will be bringing through to you to bring two other women to help them in their spiritual awakening. So uh, I, that's what I've been doing since then. As um, I channel them along with bringing in spirit loved ones, but for most purposes, I am a spirit channel or a trans medium, which be, which is the same thing. 
Well, so when you were at that event and you had that experience, was that typical uh, for an event like that? Did anybody else experience anything like that? It's not to say you don't have an experience at an event like that, but to have one as, as much as I was experiencing doesn't always happen. So this was my time to step into the channeling. And I like it because, you know, the great mother brought it to me within a circle of very energetically and wonderful friends. And I knew the shaman very well. I knew a couple of the other people very well. So they supported me through that transition to becoming a channeler, which is a lot of energy, a lot of integrations of energy. And just being with them, holding me, sitting around me, talking to me, they were able for me to balance it out where um, it was a, it was a lot easier. But no, this is not, it's not to say it doesn't, but normally it's, it's a known personal experience. It's not one where you got the whole room and stop the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Because the great mother decided you don't have an audience. And, you know, and um, so, yeah, but I won't say typical. Wow. So you're also known as the Celtic wise woman. Yes. Um, tell us how you became known as her. Well, actually, this happened back in 2019. I actually had had a medium a few years before this. I went to her because I wanted to talk to my mom. And um Instead, she's like, I have all your grandmothers here. I'm like, what grandmothers? And she brought forth all my Irish grandmothers that I could remember. And then one stood out and spoke to me. And then they collectively said, we're calling you now to be um, opposite, to, to, to remember your heritage. And you will be going to Ireland. And they said, before you can ask the question, we will provide the way. And they did. And a few year, uh, year later, less than a year later, unexpectedly, last minute, I went to Ireland. On that trip, I literally awakened to who I was. I walked on land as, and because the trip that this is on Sacred Ireland Tours, Secret Ireland Tours, is that we go to non-traditional tourist stops. There are some, but she may takes us out into the land. And it was there that I was having mystical experiences with the goddesses there. I was experiencing the, the Celtic spirituality is very feminine because they believe in the mother because she is the creator of all and mother earth. It's been buried by Christianity, but you, dig deep, you find out where it really came from. That is when I really began to experience my own Celtic origins, even though I'm an American, I'm nine, nine, over 90% genetically uh, Scott, Irish, and Welsh and English. So I got the whole, I got all Great Britain and Ireland <laughs> and Ireland in there. It was interesting. So, but that's how I started getting in touch with it. And then I started having a goddess appear to me. And her name was a Welsh Celtic goddess, and her name is Caradwyn. And whenever I would be in a dream or meditative state, deep state, she would come to me. And the messages I received was to bring forth this Celtic wise woman spirituality to women, because you don't have to be Celtic to embrace the spirituality. It's a spirituality that literally opens the world to you about your own sacred feminine energy, your own feminine gifts, that we're always told is weak and silly, and it's not. It's truly powerful. And this is, again, this is non-gender. This is a spirituality that both men and women can embrace. But many women are embracing this now for the simple fact that they are truly feeling what it is to be a woman. They are truly feeling the creator that they are. They are truly experiencing now that they have this deep knowing, what we call intuition. They're like, what do I do with this? Who is it? So we're seeing an explosion across the U.S. and actually around the world. And a recent poll that I just read stated that over 62% of Americans are now reaching out, believing in, and learning tarot cards, um, spirit readings, Oracle cards, div divination, um, work like I'm doing. People now realize because it's a spirituality that helps you to become 
your own person, your own sovereign person. It helps you to embrace your own sacred gifts and teaches you about the importance of working with it. We're always told to depend on the outside. Now, it's the inside. And so that's what is very, I love about this spirituality is that it's a very brave spirit, the Celtics. They're very brave. And the bravery and courage that this working with this energy brings in. And the wise woman, why is a Celtic wise woman? Because the wise woman within the communities, within the villages long ago were the midwives. They're usually older women. They were the midwives. They were the herbalists. They were the healers. Um, they were very often the seers and oracles of the community. So they were held in very high reverence and depended on, and the reason that the wise woman was older, because as she got older, her experiences taught her. So she experienced things firsthand. So that's when they also developed the oral storytelling of, of um, passing the stories on. And then that was stopped by the Christian church. Wow. I and mean, it all sounds very powerful. And I think it's, I think everybody, um, like you said, uh, well, a high percentage of people are interested and kind of feel like they should be doing more, but they don't know what their potential, they don't really even know that most people are, there's more that more to them than they even know. This is true because normal traditional religious traditions of that no longer for a lot of people, not everyone, but for many people, especially women, no longer answers that need and call. And they know that there is more to them. So spirituality is where they're learning to find themselves and to learn how to go within. Because really, we hold all the answers within. We just have to learn how to go in and accept it and believe in ourselves to receive them. Yeah, it's the more you learn, the more, it, you know, the more um, you feel, you feel it and you kind of feel, you know, that you're getting some answers and it makes you want more. It draws does. you in. It does. I've been doing this work for 15 years. And I'll be honest with you, I've been studying all the religions. I've used a lot of them in my Reiki work. But I will tell you the Celtic wise woman spirituality has really been one of the most fascinating journeys I have been on for me personally. And this has truly awakened that wise woman that I am and made me realize just how powerful and magical we as women are. And to say that without being afraid, we're going to be drawn out and buried in the, you know, burned in the street. You know, this is another thing. Part of this work is to help women to step into their gifts, to step into their own magic and their own uniqueness as women. Yeah. And, you know, obviously I think it does reach outside um, to not just women. I think everybody is, you know, I'm sorry, but like after COVID, it's like everybody is re-looking at everything. That's true. And in fact, like, this who am I and what am I doing here? Exactly. This work exploded with COVID. Mm -hmm. Literally exploded with COVID because we had the time to be home. I don't know about this other stuff anymore and start to reach into more of the spiritual job and their own selves. You know, they're calling it the big reset. Yes, it is the big reset. And we're seeing that now. And the resets in us too. A lot of us are experiencing some rough things right now in our own personal lives. That's because we're going through a spiritual reset. We're going through a higher attuning to a higher energy, which is spirit. And so we are growing and evolving as people, as spiritual beings ourselves. Well, some other day you're going to have to tell us how you got into all of this. <laughs> yeah, not today. <laughs> Because, you know, I just uh, knew you years ago when you lived here in this area and um, you were into, um, wasn't it dental? I had just left dentistry, 25 years in dentistry. Right. Um, I, had a, I had a chronic illness that forced me to give that up. And so I became a Reiki master. So when I met you, it was, trying, it was setting up my first website. Right, right. Becoming a Reiki master and healer. And then we've been together ever since then. I know, we're like soul sisters. We are, we've evolved <laughs> together over the years. Oh, totally, <laughs> totally. Yeah, I've been evolving sometimes rapidly it seems, but uh, it's funny too that you talk about grandmothers 
um, because when you talk with me, you're, you're saying that there's a grandmother over me watching me. And so, you know, maybe sometimes our spiritual guides kind of like skips a generation. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I, I believe in, I, I'm not the only one. There are many who are, are channeling the grandmothers. And that is, they're channeling the same thing. It's, they're coming forth, not just the past generation, but they're coming back a generation or two back because they're here to teach us because one big reason is it's, believe it or not, but it is, it's safe to do it now. Mm -hmm. And we live in a world where most of us can voice that this is something we like. And when they come through so often, my own great grandmothers would say, you know, I used to escape to the tea room and tell them I was going to church. <laughs> and this is because we can never say that. Right. I had two of them would come through and tell me that one. So it's um, it's something where now we're, the change is so much that that's where we're going now is we're, we're reclaiming these gifts, which, you know, it's stronger in women. It's not to say there are, um, right. believe me, I know who are, you know, psychic mediums and channelers, that it is a stronger, it's very strong in women. And now that we're recognizing this gift of intuition, of our deep feminine spirituality, more women are reaching out to learn more. Well, speaking of wanting to learn more, <laughs> um, why don't you tell people just a little bit about your services? And I know we're going to have more information down below. We're going to have more information down below. Uh, mm -hmm. My services, I provide channeled, private channeled messages, both online through Zoom and here in person at the Healing Cottage, which is a very magical place in itself to receive a reading. But I provide messages of spirit, uh, like I said, both online and in person here at the Healing Cottage. And I also provide private and group retreats for individuals here at the Healing College, as well as online courses that I will be announcing here very soon. In fact, you and I have an event coming up. This is true. This is true. Oh, and I also leave uh, back up. I Ooh. also lead, <laughs> let's do a re rewind. I also am collaborating with Secret Ireland Tours to lead a magical journey to Ireland next year to study and work with the, a Druid priestess on her healing grounds and healing center. Uh, we will be studying Druidism with her and then in the afternoons we're going to be touring Southern Ireland and um, Yours truly will also be providing one night of a possibly a seance. I haven't decided yet, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll have more of that in future videos. But we do have a big event, and I'm so excited. Julie Day's out here with her is sponsoring what is called the Celtic Wise Woman. Um, I forgot what it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're having channeled, channeled the Celtic Wise Woman channeled messages from Spirit Circle. And this is an evening here at the Healing Cottage here in West Salem, Ohio, uh, Saturday, July 30th from 4.30 to 7. We're, for a small group, we're only accepting 10 max. That's it. So we can keep it small and intimate. And I will be providing channeled messages and messages for Spirit and a few other fun things and surprises are in store too. And Miss Julie D will be out here sponsoring and hosting it with me. Jabbing with Julie's. That's right. Julie on site. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be jabbering with spirit and you'll be jabbering with Julie. So that's a perfect mate, you know? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, and we're going to be doing more of these videos. Uh, why don't you tell everybody what the next video topic will be? So the next video topic, I'm going to get into more detail about what exactly is mediumship, what exactly is spirit messages, um, what is the difference between a psychic and a medium and a channel. I'm kind of go into a little more detail about what that is and and what our role is. We we as channelers and mediums consider our work very sacred. So I'm going to go a little more detail and explain it. So a lot of times, if you know more about something, you're not scratching your head or afraid of it, so to speak, because this is very deep spirit centered, heart centered work. So, and um, I am really looking forward to that because we're going to do from 4.30 to 7. Uh, cost is $55. I will have this up on my website um, where you can register online. 
and I will have that up there within the next 24 hours. But if you have any questions, you want to register, you want to receive a reading, or you want to register for our community event that Julie and I are putting together, well, I should say a private event that Julie and I are co-sponsoring here on July 30th, you go to www.maryjanebrigger.com. And you can also follow me on Facebook at Mary Jane Brigger. And if you do join me there, you can receive a special invitation to join my private group. And um, you can contact me at mjb at maryjanebrigger.com with any questions or anything you may want me to talk about on these future videos. Yeah, we want to know what you're interested in. That's right. That's right. And there's a, I'll tell you what, I just really scratched the surface of spirituality tonight. So let me hear your questions and we'll talk about it. But thank you, Julie, for this opportunity. Thank you so much that I'm part of your inner speaker series, inner circle speaker series. I mean, this is very exciting and something that is going to serve our community so well. Yeah, I think our inner circles are colliding in a good way. Yes. <laughs> like I told you, you're a web. <laughs> You're a web, you're the hub, and we're spreading the web, and that's what community is. <laughs> well, I, you always leave us wanting more, so I can't wait to the next one myself. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Again, if you have any questions, we'll have it down in the description there, but if there's any questions you have about mediumship channelers or anything, feel free to uh, send them to me, and I will address them here in the video. Yeah, because we're here for you. That's right. That's right. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.